I want to go over to my co-anchor, Elliot Grandy again, who is live. He was just outside of that evacuation zone this morning as he prepares to go inside. What are you hearing, Elliot? Yeah, that's right. Well, a major uh, breakthrough right now, uh, you know, no pun intended. Obviously, there's no barriers here anymore. We're still waiting to get clarification on what that means uh, for those Rockton residents inside that one mile radius. Breaking news this morning, a deadly crash. I want to give you this is a live look right now on I-90. The crash of the rollover rather happening between Riverside and states heading eastbound on I-90 and that's causing major backups right now all the way to 173 we're being told. And we're following breaking news right now where we've learned a man has barricaded himself inside that Rockford Hotel behind me. Winnebago County Sheriff's and Cherry Valley Police. They are at the Days Inn right now. They've been there since about 2.30 this morning as we give you a live look at that scene. This just came in our newsroom right now. I'm being told about less than 6,000 votes now going in favor of Vice President Joe Biden. So he is in the lead for the first time in the state of Pennsylvania. Back over to my co-anchor, Elliot Grandia, who's been live out there all morning long. They actually demolished it while we were sleeping and you're seeing those bricks just scattered. Yeah, that's right, Whitney. A completely different scene than just 12 hours ago. I was showing you a brick and it, you can't help but think you're holding a piece of history. Now let's actually go with him. We're so excited to have Joey on right now talking about his experiences storm chasing Joey. You've already seen so many cool things. We're waking up in Dodge City, Kansas. It's been a, a wild week, Elliot. We came out here last Friday. We actually got to see a tornado out in uh, Colorado on Sunday. And, and Joey, we're seeing these pictures. I mean, these are incredible shots that you've yeah. taken. These are from your trip, uh, your storm chasing trip. So just kind of like take us into those moments where you're seeing, you know, that funnel cloud, you know, start to appear and then just come from the sky. And on our morning buzz, we're getting you all ready for Mother's Day right around the corner, actually coming up on Sunday. And so I talked to Joey and Elliot's mom. Oh boy. Oh. Send them some questions and you guys have to answer. Okay. We want to see who knows mom's best here. Okay. You have to answer as um, as of what your mom would have said. Okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. I also say my mom likes like the like a salmon, like a nice salmon salad. Okay, he's wrong. <laughs> uh, pasta and chocolate. Mangoes. Pasta. <laughs> exactly one year since the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. So much has changed over the last 365 days, a lot of which we could have never expected to happen. At this time last year, if you remember, the NBA had just suspended its season, and we had just learned that Tom Hanks and his wife had tested positive for COVID-19. Uh, there were also roughly just 1,000 positive cases reported in the U.S. Today, there's been roughly 29 million reported cases. President Biden addressing the nation tonight at 7, talking about these historic events, and it's expected to last about 15 minutes. Seeing some of the tougher conditions that we have all morning long, now that this fresh blanket of snow is coming down, so we just turned onto Prairie Hill Road. <laughs> Wave to the camera. <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh, she. Oh, oh boy. Is she having fun? I can't tell. Oh, she got wet. <laughs> All right, 518 on our Thursday morning, our Friday Eve right now. Apparently, a lot of people have been talking about cicadas and now eating them, apparently. <laughs> That's right, it's uh, maybe more popular than you think. Sarah Dreyer, she's a <laughs> chocolatier, professional chocolate maker, I think in uh, Maryland. She actually makes chocolate covered cicadas and sells them, a lot of them actually. First, she boils them to get them all clean then crisps them up in an air fryer. I know Whitney's a fan of her air fryer after that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sprinkle sprinkled in either cinnamon, some cold bay seasoning, oh, so a little sweet or savory, and then covered in dark chocolate or milk chocolate. So maybe people wondering, are people actually eating these? Well, Sarah says if it didn't work, she wouldn't be selling them. When you combine the chocolate, the cinnamon, and the nuttiness of the bugs, it really gives you that like holiday feeling when you're walking around a big city and they're roasting nuts on the sidewalk and you have that cinnamon smell. It's really what it tastes like. Yeah, just like the holidays. <laughs> just <laughs> taking me to Christmas right now. Uh, she actually thinks the next time those cicadas come out in droves, they'll be really popular protein. To I eat. had um, ants on a stick at the Wisconsin State Fair. I, yeah, I yeah, think I've no. done the I've done the cricket thing, the chocolate covered 
crickets or grass, I don't remember what it was. I mean, you just kind of eat it. It's, it is, tastes like chocolate. But why?